Well, happy day there. It is January 17th, and it's the third week weigh-in and measurements update. And, you know, today I went ahead and chose to go ahead and sit on the couch uh, talking about it a little bit because the results aren't necessarily the kind of results that make somebody make me necessarily super excited let's say so if you want to hear what happened this week what the results were of my weigh-in and my measurements stay tuned and we'll get right to it okay so this week was a week of uh, I had a few days where I had an extra soda and I probably would have done better had I not had an extra soda. So I had more than one day this past week where I went ahead and reached for that third soda for the day. And something else happened. Yesterday I had one of those long drives back from work and I did pretty good. I mean I had to have pizza for lunch but uh on the way back I had to stop and get gas and I really didn't have any healthy snacks and the cravings were really really bad so it was one of those incidences where I had another soda on top of that I had the chili cheese burritos because I just really was needing something that was that hard crunch you know um, so it was really really hard <laughs> and, I, and you look at the back of the bag and you're like, okay, it says one serving is 160 calories, but there's four servings in the little bag. And this is one of the smaller bags. This isn't a full-size bag or anything. And I was like, oh, I'll just ha eat a few and I'll be okay. But then, you know, I had like another two hours till home, two, over two hours. Like, yeah, so... Um, ended up eating the whole bag thinking I'm kind of going to regret that so at least when I got home though I didn't eat a meal because I was like okay that was bad I made a really bad choice in having the whole little bag of potato chips uh, so you know but I did eat the fruit bowls and stuff like that every day they were just a little bit different I spoke about that in the other video earlier uh, this past week and so yeah well I'm I'm I, the results like I said aren't have some results but they're not necessarily the results I was going for I mean internally a personal kind of goal I really wanted to see at least two plus pounds lost per week and at least one to two inches also lost per week until I'm kind of like at that goal uh, you know, I really wanted to be in a month, month and a half, if I could be, uh, you know, doing an unboxing of uh, size 12 clothes. I, it could still happen. I don't think that's going to happen right yet. I, I feel like a little bit more comfortable in my clothes. I don't feel as roly-poly, but I still feel pretty roly-poly and pretty fat and, you know, filling them out pretty good. Uh, so I don't, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say, hey, I'm going to be right there right now because, or in one week, uh, that's not likely going to occur. So I'm going to be realistic. Um, one thing I could work on definitely is not having three sodas a day. <laughs> um, I would definitely be doing a lot better on my weight loss journey if I wasn't drinking them. But like I said, that's a really hard thing. But I tell you what, it started yesterday and then today, oh boy, I just I felt so hungry. And I hadn't felt that hungry all those other days, but today, my lands and my hungry. And uh, just trying to fight off all the cravings today <laughs> and that kind of thing. So anyways, uh, let's get to the results for the week. For week three, 
was I did lose one pound so one pound lost that is good then I was only down though a quarter of an inch and at least that came from my waist so that that is a positive I do feel like I'm getting the muscle tone so I have been doing you know you can see a lot of my workouts and kind of like strength and muscle building and not a lot of cardio so when I look at it and that's where the food journaling is really important and also uh, looking at my workouts like what can I do to get the results that I'm looking for and some of those things that I could do is you know I definitely could walk or get on the treadmill more or do more cardio workout I did go ahead and order like a couple new videos because I really need some extra variety and that kind of thing and plus it's really good to keep your body consistently guessing so that way it will lose that weight that I want to lose and and that kind of thing so I'm gonna continue to work on that um I should have my new videos I think tomorrow or Thursday so I'm pretty excited about it um, but you know I'm not gonna sit here and talk the whole entire time I do need to make sure that I get a workout in today though I think I'm not I'm going to just spend the time on the treadmill I uh, put in a good 30 minutes and then 10 minutes on uh, the T-zone or I might do like 20 minutes on the treadmill and then do 20 minutes on the uh, T-zone um, so I just kind of need to figure that out but I'll let you know at the end of the video what I ended up doing hey overall at least I had a pound down I mean I would be really really to be quite honest not very excited I mean I say it's a marathon and not a sprint but I at least got to see progress that's very very important for me it's important to anyone I feel in the process of moving forward towards a goal and that kind of thing so at least I got that good news of one pound down and half inch off my waist so that's pretty cool Dale I can't complain I know what I can do to change it up to do a little bit better so that's definitely what I want to do next week I at least want to see you know two pounds lost and a couple inches so uh, that's on me and I know I have a very demanding rest of the week ahead of me not only from work perspective but also and personal perspective gotta take my son to you know uh, his sports and things like that and it's gonna be pretty demanding not only through the week but uh, you know the weekend with that kind of stuff <sighs> so uh, yeah a little intense right now but this is the perfect test uh, because if, if, I, if I find the way to work with this with all this going on then I have a pretty good opportunity of success here and seeing it through and continuing on so anyways thank you for uh, subscribing uh, thank you for joining me on my journey and I'm gonna get on the treadmill like I said 20 or 30 minutes and then on the t-zone after that I'll come back and do a closing statement but thank you okay so I was able to do 31 minutes on the treadmill at 2.3 miles an hour so that was right at a, a little over a mile and then I did 10 minutes on the t-zone on program 3 I do want to thank you for taking the time to subscribe to my channel uh, and join me on my weight loss journey and be my accountability partners out there really appreciate that wish I had better news today than only one pound loss and only uh, I believe it was only a quarter of an inch um, loss with my measurements but it's still progress and like I say it's a marathon not a sprint and it would be a lot better results uh, if I wasn't probably drinking the amount of soda that I'm intaking so that's an area I can continue to work on plus adding more cardio now to my workout thank you for your time and uh, look forward to speaking to you soon take care bye bye